Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and uh, what we have for you today is console gaming on a 4K monitor. Now what we have with us is the Xbox One X and a PS4 Pro and both these consoles claim 4K capabilities. Well, they have a version of upscaling from 2K to 4K in some cases. Some of the games do run natively at 4K. But the key is you can actually enjoy gaming on these consoles on a really nice 4K HDR television. But what is the experience like on a gaming monitor? So we have with us uh, this 27 inch monitor from LG. It's the UK 650. It boasts of a peak brightness of 450 nits. It has a 4K resolution, two HDMI ports, free sync. Well, actually let's quickly run you through some of the key features of this monitor before we get into the games. Like I said in the opening, this is a 27 inch monitor that supports HDR10 and not Dolby Vision. It has a claimed color space that covers 99% of the sRGB color space and also supports AMD's FreeSync. The display has a maximum brightness of 450 nits, which is more than some TVs at the same price point. The monitor is priced at about 32,000 rupees. For connectivity, it has two HDMI ports and one display port, all of which support 4K and HDR. The monitor also has a refresh rate of 60 Hz. It has a headphones out but doesn't have built-in speakers. The monitor is height adjustable but does not support swivel. Overall, the monitor has an attractive design and a U-shaped stand. Well, now that you know what this monitor is all about, we are going to play five games that boast of 4K HDR signature capabilities on each of these consoles. And just to make things interesting, we are not repeating the same game on either of the consoles. So individually, we are going to play five games that take advantage of the PS4 Pro and five games that take advantage of the Xbox One X, fulfilling the criteria of 4K and HDR and see how they perform. Kicking things off with the PS4 Pro, we played games like God of War, Spider-Man, Battlefield 1, Horizon Zero Dawn and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. In all the games, it is advised to go into the settings of the game and adjust the HDR brightness to get the best possible outcome. All the games on the PS4 Pro are checkerboard upscaled to 4K. Each game brings something unique to the mix. Spider-Man is one game that really stands out with its bright and vivid environments and the contrast in Spider-Man's outfit is really something to watch out for. The night scenes in Horizon were also something to behold with the brightness in the mechanical enemies being well highlighted. Moving over to the Xbox One X, we played games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Gears of War 4, Metro Exodus, Hellblade and Forza Horizon 4. Gears of War 4 which is used by us as a benchmark for reviewing TVs as well and this is one game that looks a lot better on this monitor when compared to similarly priced 4K HDR TVs. Hellblade with its gritty environments mixed with bursts of bright lights is also one that deserves to be played on the monitor to be believed. Metro Exodus by definition is a dark game and you feel the claustrophobia in the beginning areas of the game especially since the environments are dark and you need to resort to a flashlight and lighter to navigate highlighting the bright and dark sequences that can be displayed on this monitor. Needless to say the overall performance of the monitor is pretty good. Now to some of the cons. The HDR performance isn't the best especially since we've played the same games on OLED TVs available in the market but it isn't the right comparison since OLED TVs will cost you an arm and a leg. There are other monitors available in the market like the BenQ EL2870U which are about 5000 rupees cheaper but have a maximum brightness of 300 nits and we can't comment on the performance because we haven't actually checked that one out yet. Here's the million dollar question you need to answer. For a budget of 30 to 35000 rupees does it make sense to go in for this monitor for console gaming or a 50 inch budget TV at the same price? The answer really depends on what you're looking for. For the price you pay, you're getting a monitor that can not only work good as a computer monitor, but also plays console games really, really well. It won't swivel, but is height adjustable. And for the price you pay, you're getting pretty good performance. So there you have it, guys. Uh, let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. Do you agree or disagree with our analysis? And uh, as always, for more from the world of technology, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.